Indeed so, the cars revving, the cars are all been running for some time and likewise the... Uh, Good morning, Prime Minister. How are you feeling this morning? Right You're really fine. I just wanted to spend the weekend, sir. So there's the Prime Minister just leaving Downing Street now. Well, it's got nothing really to do with my health other than I'm at the end of my party conference week. Again, I've been asked this question the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. And I've got this routine procedure on my heart, which is connected with the, uh, the type of thing that happened last year, but I'm puts an end to it. Well, it's, it, it's what they call, I mean, let me go into it in a minute, but that again will set off a huge, I mean, it's a, it's a, a minor routine procedure, but it will set off again a great splurge of speculation, so I might as well put it to rest. And as for this, uh, no, it's, it's, it's a, it doesn't stop me carrying on working. I mean, I've had it in the past few weeks and it's been fine. I mean, it make you feel better. No, it doesn't really. What happens every so often, it's called, I think, an atrial flutter or something. I mean, get the, get the medical guys yeah, to tell we'll you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure you will. There'll be lots of doctors giving their opinion. But no, it doesn't. But, but on the other hand, it's sensible to get it fixed. And so, you know, I'll, I'll get it fixed. And, and uh, that's why we, we decided to and do it. And is this... Am I going to stand and lead the Labour Party into the next general election? The answer is yes. Um, if I do that, do I wish to serve a full term? The answer to that is yes. Do I want to go on and on and on? The answer to that is no. I wouldn't want to put myself forward a fourth election. I don't think the country would want me to. I I'm sure there's nothing more we can responsibly do. I mean, we, I, look, I feel desperately sorry for the Bigley family. And, and I think that they, the, the Bigley family that I've spoken to have, have behaved with immense dignity. And it's a terrible situation. I mean, they, they see him suffering and they want to do anything that can bring him out. But we, we can't negotiate with these people. And, you know, we, we've got to be so careful in the way that we handle it. But I can assure you, I won't go into the details of what we're doing, but we are doing literally every it's single thing we can.